You've the scent of success about you, brother. I've learned much about our enemy. Share your knowledge, then. Let us see what can be done with it. Robert and his Templars walk the city. They've come to pay their respects to Mejduddin. They'll attend his funeral, which means so will I. What is this that Templars would attend his funeral? I have yet to divine their true intentions, though I'll have a confession in time. The citizens themselves are divided. Many call for their lives. Still others insist that they are here to parley, to make peace. Peace? I told you. The others I've slain have said as much to me. That would make them our allies. And yet we killed them. Make no mistake, we are nothing like these men. Though their goal sounds noble, the means by which they'd achieve it are not. At least, that's what Al Mualim told me. So what is your plan? I'll attend the funeral and confront Robert. The sooner the better. Fortune favor your blade, brother. Malik, before I go, there's something I should say. Be out with it. I've been a fool. Normally I'd make no argument, but what is this? What are you talking about? All this time, I never told you I was sorry. Too damn proud. You lost your arm because of me. Lost Qadr. You had every right to be angry. I do not accept your apology. I understand. No. You don't. I do not accept your apology because you are not the same man who went with me into Solomon's temple. And so you have nothing to apologize for. Malik. Perhaps if I had not been so envious of you, I would not have been so careless myself. I'm just as much to blame. Don't say such things. We are one. As we share the glory of our victories, so too should we share the pain of our defeat. In this way, we grow closer. We grow stronger. Thank you, brother. Rest if you need to, Altair, that you might be ready for what lies ahead. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. gather here to mourn the loss of our beloved Majdiddin. Taken too soon from this world, I know you feel sorrow and pain at his passing, but you should not. For just as we are all brought forth from the womb, so too must we all one day pass from this world. It is only natural, like the rising and the setting of the sun. Take this moment to reflect on his life and give thanks for all the good he did. Know that one day you will stand with him again in paradise. As you know, this man was murdered. We have tried to track his killer, but it has proved difficult. These creatures cling to the shadows and run from any who would face them fairly. But not today, for it seems what stands among us. He mocks us with his presence and must be made to pay. Seize him! Bring him forward that God's justice might be done! Ah! <laughs> 
I would see your eyes before you die. I sense you expected someone else. What sorcery is this? No sorcery. We knew you'd come. Robert needed to be sure he'd have time to get away. So he flees. We cannot deny your success. You have laid waste to our plans. First the treasure, then our men. Control of the Holy Land slipped away. But then he saw an opportunity. To reclaim what has been stolen. To turn your victories to our advantage. Al Muallam still holds your treasure, and we've routed your army before. Whatever Robert plans, he'll fail again. Ah, but it's not just Templars you'll contend with now. Speak sense. Robert rides for Asa to plead his case that Saracen and Crusader unite against the Assassins. That will never happen. They have no reason to. Had, perhaps. But now you've given them one. Nine, in fact. The bodies you've left behind, victims on both sides. You've made the Assassins an enemy in common and ensured the annihilation of your entire order. Well done. Not nine. Eight. What do you mean? You are not my target. I will not take your life. You're free to go, but do not follow me. I don't need to. You're already too late. We'll see. It was a trap. I had heard the funeral turn to chaos. What happened? Robert de Sable was never here. He sent another in his stead. He was expecting me. You must go to Al Mualim. There's no time. She told me where he's gone, what he plans. If I return to Masyaf, he might succeed. And then, I fear we'll be destroyed. We have killed most of his men. He cannot hope to mount a proper attack. Wait, did you say she? Yes, it was a woman. Strange, I know. But that's for another time. For now, we must focus on Robert. We may have thinned his ranks, but the man is clever. He goes to plead his case to Richard and Salah ad to unite them against the common enemy. Against us. Surely you're mistaken. This makes no sense. These two men would never... Oh, but they would. And we have ourselves to blame. The men I've killed. Men on both sides of the conflict. Men important to both leaders. Robert's plan may be ambitious, but it makes sense. And it could work. Look, brother. Things have changed. You must return to Masyaf. We cannot act without our master's permission. It could compromise the Brotherhood. I thought... I thought you had learned this. Stop hiding behind words, Malik. You wield the Creed and its tenants like some shield. He's keeping things from us. Important things. You were the one told me we could never know anything, only suspect. Well, I suspect this business with the Templars goes deeper. When I'm done with Robert, I will write for Masyaf that we may have answers. But perhaps you could go now. I cannot leave the city. Then walk amongst its people. Seek out those who served the ones I slew. Learn what you can. You call yourself perceptive. Perhaps you'll see something I could not. I don't know. I must think on this. Do as you must, my friend. But it's time I ride for Arsuf. Every moment I delay, our enemy gets one step ahead of me. Be careful, brother. I will be. I promise.